Hello and welcome to our latest video where we will be discussing an interesting development in India's digital infrastructure. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, also known as TRI, has proposed to rate all buildings in the country based on their digital infrastructure. Let's dive into the details. As remote working becomes increasingly popular, people are demanding uninterrupted digital connectivity at all times. The launch of 5G services has also stimulated this demand for high-speed internet access. Therefore, the creation of a regulatory framework for providing digital connectivity as essential infrastructure has become crucial. TRI has recommended a framework for the creation of an ecosystem for digital connectivity infrastructure DCI, to be an intrinsic part of building development plans, similar to other building services such as water, electricity, or fire safety systems. The regulator has proposed a time frame of two years mandating all existing as well as new buildings of public importance to have the rating system in place. It has also proposed to make the ratings mandatory for airports, ports, railway and metro stations, bus stations, multi-speciality hospitals, industrial parks, large commercial complexes and government buildings. The infrastructure will be co-designed and co-created along with building development through collaborations among various stakeholders, including developers and builder service providers, infrastructure providers, DCI professionals, and authorities at various urban or local bodies. TRI has mandated the upgradation of digital infrastructure in all existing government buildings, PSUs or autonomous bodies of the government, commercial buildings, and public places such as airports, ports, railway stations, bus stations, metro stations, or any other building decided by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. The regulator has also proposed that Model Building Bylaws 2016 and the National Building Code of India be amended to include digital connectivity infrastructures in buildings. The Bureau of Indian Standards BIS, should review existing standards and procedures of DCI for buildings, which should be made part of the code. The BIS would also prescribe standard templates which will be used by property managers for collecting building-related information and connectivity requirements of users. TRI also recommended that digital connectivity infrastructure developed in the buildings by property managers should be accessible to all service providers on a fair, transparent, non-discriminatory, and non-chargeable basis. The regulator also suggested creating provisions under the Real Estate Law RERA to mandate digital connectivity infrastructure inside buildings, its maintenance, and timely upgradation. Additionally, the maintenance and upgrading of this DCI should be included in the agreements between builders and buyers. Conclusion This move by try to rate all buildings based on their digital infrastructure is a step in the right direction. It will ensure that people have access to uninterrupted and high-speed internet connectivity at all times, making remote working and other digital activities easier. We hope that these recommendations are implemented efficiently and in a timely manner to make India's digital infrastructure one of the best in the world. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.